Some of them are good. Some of the changes are awesome, you know? Like, uh, I don't smoke uh, pot anymore. <laughs> That's a change. Yeah, I quit. I quit smoking pot uh, on our honeymoon because it ruined it. And I thought that, that was going to be the end of the marriage right there. Yeah, my wife and we went, we went to Jamaica for our honeymoon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. How do you not smoke pot in Jamaica? And uh, she's like, my wife, she doesn't drink. She doesn't smoke. Nothing. She's just an angel sent from heaven to make my life a living hell. <laughs> and previously, I enjoyed the marijuana. I used to, right? Right? But the effects change over time. If you can still smoke pot and have a good time, I salute you, Captain. <laughs> I just can't do it. Right? When I used to smoke, you'd have this giggle fit, this laughing fast. You're just making noises that no one but a dolphin could understand. You know? <laughs> laughing so hard. <laughs> and at SeaWorld, all the dolphins are like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> We're busting out tonight. Tell Shamu, it's on, it's on. <laughs> and then... After the giggle fit, you get hungry, right? You get hungry, like, man, food sounds awesome. I love food. And then you get paranoid. You're like, I'm not leaving the house for food because the police are out there and I don't want to go to jail. I'll just eat macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Why is it so crunchy? You didn't cook it. You're an idiot. <laughs> it's a circle. Around and around and around. And after a while, the older I got, I'd start smoking pot and that giggle fit and the uh, hunger would just go away. It was boom, it was paranoia. And then we went to Jamaica on our honeymoon. My wife's like, don't smoke pot, okay? And I'm like, lying, okay, I won't. <laughs> so one morning, uh, we get up early and we go to the nude beach, right? Now, yeah, if you've never been to a nude beach, go, it's awesome. And you're like, I have body issues, and I don't think, no, go. Because, yeah, you'll see the people who are already out there, you know. <laughs> I love the nude beat. You're like, oh, screw this, I'm a piece of ass. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Pitt has arrived, Angelina. <laughs> so we're on the nude beach, and it's great. It's fantastic, and we're just lying there, and my wife's looking super fine. And, uh, and this kid, this little Jamaican kid in a canoe, he's got to be like eight, comes out in the ocean, and he was waving to us, hey, mon, hey, mon. And I'm like, hey, mon. And my wife's like, don't buy drugs from him. <laughs> I want to talk to him. And not every Jamaican kid's a drug dealer, honey. You're a racist. <laughs> She's like, just don't buy drugs from him. I'm like, all right. So I swim out to the kid, and uh, just to talk. And, uh, and he's like, hey, man, do your party. And I'm like, I do today. And let's keep our voices down, shall we? <laughs> he's like, I got cocaine. I got ecstasy. I got magic mushrooms. I got LSD. I'm like, holy crap, how big is your canoe? That's, <laughs> that is an entrepreneur right there. That kid gets up at the crack of dawn. Mama, I'm going to load a canoe with every drug I can find on the island. I'll sell it in the open ocean. I'll be home by dinner time. Da -da -ka -da -da. So I tell the kid, I just, I just want some pot. And he's like, how much? And I'm like, five dollars worth? Like I'm at a gas station in America. I'll take five on four. <laughs> so the kid's smart, right? And he's like, he's like, I need to see the money first. I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. So I swim back to the towel. I get five dollars from my wife. She's like, what are you buying? What are you getting? I'm like, I'm just gonna give the kid five bucks. He's down on his luck. So I swim back to him. <laughs> Naked, swim back to him and hand him five dollars. Now, I'll tell you something, people. The American dollar is strong in Jamaica. <laughs> I, yeah, I handed him five dollars expecting like a little sandwich bag with five dollars worth of weed in it. Something I could hide on my naked body, you know? And, <laughs> I gave this kid $5, and he handed me a bale of marijuana. I, I had never seen this much pot before in my life. And now I got to swim with one less hand 
and keep this shit dry, right? And it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. And I'm like, oh. So now, you can't hide this. You swim back to your towel, everybody's looking at you. You're like, yeah, look at that. That's $5 right there. That is the, look at that, that's a lot, isn't it? That's a lot. He's right there, he's got everything. He's got LSD, cocaine. My wife's just staring at me. <laughs> oh, she's happy. She's like, are you gonna smoke all that? I'm like, not in my life could I smoke all this. <laughs> Holy crap. So some other kid comes over, he rescues me, right? He's like, hey, Mon, do you need help? I'm like, yeah, could you like roll me a joint or something? And he's like, yeah, I'll hook you up. So he takes the, the weed and leaves. And then he comes back. And once again, I'm expecting like a little American, you know, like in college, a <laughs> little pin joint, whatever. He rolled me a Jamaican death joint. Uh, <laughs> I swear to God, it looked like a traffic cone. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it, was, it was big and fat at the bottom and small at the top. Said I killed Bob Marley up the side of it. I took it back to the room, took one hit, bam, straight to paranoia. No fun at all. My brain's like, you are way too high. My heart's like, thumpity, 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 thumpity. Oh, I got to air out the room. Someone's going to be there. They can all smell it. Holy sh lock the door, lock the door. Then there's a knock. Oh, it's the police. Hide me. Hide me. I'm a lamp. I'm a lamp. I'm a lamp. <laughs> it was my wife. She was the, is this how it's going to be? Is this how it's going to be? Things are going to have to change. And I've been changing ever since. <laughs> Don't be surprised. You've changed. You've changed.